All right, now onto the chorus for Brian Adams' Summer of 69. This one we're gonna use a combination of bar chords and open chords. So we really need one bar chord and then one kind of new fake bar chord, we're gonna call it. Um, it's a bar chord, but it's a lot easier than the other one. So the first one is B minor, all right? There's two places we can play B minor based off the way we know how to make bar chords. We can place it up here on the seventh fret and do a full on out um, E-shaped bar chord, which is all six strings. That's farther away from the open. I said I want to use open chords. So I would love to have something down here. So I'd also have a B here on the second fret of the fifth string. I'm going to use that shape, which is minor. Um, so on that one, it looks like the six string major shape, just everything downstream. So I've got my first finger barring from five down, my third finger on the fourth string, uh, fourth fret, my third pinky on the third string, fourth fret, and then my second finger here on the third string. Third fret, second string. Okay, that's your B minor chord. Um, remember this chord price score. We use this a lot for the rest of the year. Um, it's just a really easy chord. This key is really popular with other songs, so I'd focus on making that thing uh, better. Now, for E's, uh, instead of playing A like this, I'm gonna teach an alternate way to play A that I don't like to play a lot of the time, but on quick passages like this where I've gotta to go to A real quick, it's a good way to play an A chord real quick with an pinch. So what we're gonna do, instead of pushing down the things we normally push for A, we're just gonna take our first finger and bar them. All right, so I'm not really worried about hitting the top string because it's hard to kind of not bar that, but I'm barring two, three, and four on the second fret with my first finger and leaving the fifth string open. Like the only difference is that top string. The reason I do this is because here on this B minor, I'm kind of already there and all I have to do to go to A is pull it down. Neat. All right, uh, next two chords is the D chord. So I'm gonna use a D chord and a G chord. I'm with that one. Now, what's good about the G chord is when you have to go back to the B, your first finger, don't pick it up, just turn it into a bar. It's kind of already where it needs to be and add the stuff for B minor. Should make it a little easier. So all down strokes would sound like this. Um, B minor. strumming pattern for this one is uh, one I think we've done before. It's the down, down, up, up, down. Remember the tricky part of this one? I don't want to spend too much on this because we have another video that talks about this. I think it's I want to hold your hand. Um, it's that down, down, up, and then you have a, a down that you don't do anything up, down, because our counts are one, two, and, and four. So we want all our numbers to be down and our ands to be up. One, two, and, and four, or down, down, up, up, down which would sound like this, two, three, and. 